Hello everyone, this is Professor Ng Chi Kun from Unimas. In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial solution for question 2 of your tutorial. So question 2 here, we have uh, figure 2 below showing a simply supported beam with rectangular cross section of 400mm by 600mm. The beam carries a characteristic permanent action of 10 kN per meter length, excluding self weight, and a characteristic variable action of 30 kN per meter length. At the center of the simply supported beam, there is an ultimate torsional moment with magnitude of 76.5 kN meter acting at the center line of the beam. The required longitudinal reinforcement to resist bending has been designed and shown in figure 2 below which is 6H25 eh, for the tension reinforcement and it doesn't require any compression reinforcement so you have only hanger bars on the top part of the beam. The characteristic strengths of concrete and longitudinal steel are 300 megapascal and 500 megapascal respectively. Assume density of concrete as 25 kN per cubic meter nominal concrete cover of 35 mm and link diameter of 8 mm. Design the reinforcement required to resist shear and torsion on top of the reinforcement for bending as design. So first of all, we have to calculate the actions on the beam, which is the design action. So the self weight of the beam is given by the cross section multiplied by density of concrete that is equals to 6 kN per meter length. So that gives design action of 1.35 times the permanent action plus 1.5 times the variable action to give 66.6 .6 kN per meter length on the beam. So we place 66 kN per meter length on the beam and it gives reaction of 249.8 kN on each support. So that gives shear force of 249.8 kN on each support as well. So with that, we have maximum moment of 468.3 kN meter. On top of that, the beam is also subjected to a torsional moment of 76.5 kN meter at the middle of the beam. So that gives ultimate bending moment MED equals to 468.3 kN meter. Ultimate shear force VED, which is 249.8 kN, and the ultimate torque or torsional moment TED of 76.5 kN meter as given. So for effective depth, we have two layers of uh, tension steel provided at the bottom of the beam. So we calculate the effective depth, which is equals to the height of the beam minus of the cover minus of link diameter and minus of one diameter of the tension reinforcement to give 532 mm. So first of all, we calculate concrete strut capacity based on Eurocode 2 section 6.2.3. So with theta equals to 22 degree, we have VRD max equals to 697 point. 4 kN and with theta equals to 45 degree we have the shear resistance VRD max equals to 1011.2 kN so our ultimate shear force VED which is 249.8 kN is smaller than the shear resistance at concrete compressive strut at an angle theta of 22 degree so we use 22 degree in our subsequent design calculation so first of all we calculate the shear links with two legs huh? so for shear the shear reinforcement will always have two vertical legs to resist shear so with theta equals to 22 degree 
So we have S W over S calculated as 0 0.482. So that is for shear design. And then the additional tensile force is half VD times cotangent theta. So with theta equals to 22 degree, delta FTD is 312.3 kilonewton. So conversion of the rectangular section to an equivalent hollow box section, we use A over U. So A is the cross section of the beam and then u is the parameter of the cross section so it's 120 mm so meaning that our hollow section has a thickness of 120 mm so we calculate the area bounded by the center line of the hollow section and that is 134.4 times 10 to the power of 3 square millimeter and we also calculate the perimeter of the center line so that gives 1520 millimeter so next we check the combined torsion and shear so that the effect is less than 1 so to calculate for the uh, combined torsion and shear we need TRD max so we calculate TRD max using the parameters given and also the equation given so we get TRD max is 117.2 kilonewton meter which is larger than the applied torque so this one is okay eh? then we calculate the combined effect of torsion and shear by substituting TED, TRD max, VED and VRD max. So with this, our theta is at 22 degree. Yeah? So we use VRD max at 22 degree and also TRD max at theta equals to 22 degree. So we get 1.01 .01, which is not less than 1.0. So in this case, the combined torsion and shear is not okay so what should we do so the next step is to increase a little bit on the angle of inclination of the compressive strut which is uh, theta so we change theta from 22 degree to 23 degrees so the concrete strut capacity based on theta of 23 degree is 727.4 kilonewton so that gives s w over s of 0 0.511 so that is from shear design so that gives additional tensile force of 294.2 kilonewton so in order to check for combined shear we need trd max so trd max at theta equals to 23 degree is equals to 122.2 kilonewton meter which is greater than the applied torsional moment which is 76.5 kilonewton meter so this is okay so to check for combined torsion and shear we get 0 0.97 so it's less than one so this time it will be okay so we stick to theta equals to 23 degree for the subsequent design calculation eh? so meaning that theta is 23 degree in the calculation of sw over s so that gives 0 0.278 and then links for shear plus torsion with two legs so remember that we need to multiply the sw over s for torsion with a factor of two so that we convert one leg to two legs that makes it compatible with the shear design so that gives sw over s of 1.067 so we try h add with uh, two legs so that gives sw of 101 square millimeter so when we calculate the spacing then the spacing is 95 mm based on the design calculation so the maximum spacing for shear s max is 0.75 d 
so that gives 399 mm the maximum spacing for torsion is the perimeter of the center line of the hollow box section so it's uk over 8 so it's 1520 over 8 so that gives 190 mm and then the maximum spacing for torsion based on the minimum beam dimension is 400 mm so out of all this spacing here 95 mm is the governing value so we provide h at a spacing of 90 mm after that we calculate the area as one of the additional longitudinal reinforcement required for torsion by using this design equation at theta equals to 23 degree yeah? so that gives a total steel cross sectional area of 2343 square millimeter so this additional longitudinal steel can be provided by six h25 bars to give total cross sectional area of 2946 square millimeter one in each corner and one in each side of the side faces as shown in the cross section below so the additional longitudinal tensile force of 294.2 kN resulting from the design for shear will be catered for by appropriate cutment of the main tensile reinforcement in the main design. So we have 2H25 on the top corners. We have 2H25 in the middle of the beam, one at each side and then we have another 2H25 for torsion at the bottom corner of the beam on top of the 6H25 required for the bending okay and then we have to make sure that the spacing of the torsional steel is not more than 350 mm okay so if the spacing is more than 350 mm you have to adjust the spacing to be less than 350 mm for each of the torsional longitudinal steel and then the links as we have designed just now the spacing is 90 and we have to provide a close links with at least lapping of the smaller dimension of the link and that will be h at at spacing of 90 mm so that's all for this uh, tutorial solution thank you very much for listening